Another fundamental is the questioning words. Um, they really are just so key to you being able to respond to the questions in a really effective manner. If you go to the next page in your resource and question booklet, what you'll see there is you have a list of these um, questioning words, so the key skills and really what me as an assessor, what I'm looking for on your exam. Um, they're all pretty straightforward. Um, you know, the first few, uh, you would read them and go, okay, yep, I get that. I just want to spend a bit of time looking at the last three. So I'm going to spend a bit of time looking at analyze, compare and evaluate, because these three have um, specific features that as an assessor, um, I'm looking for. We're going to look at, this is what the chief assessor wrote. So this is the person that really sets what, how we're going to mark the exam and what's accessible on the exam, what's um, reasonable, how things student answers should look. They sort of set the tone on that and they write the examination report, which is a really good resource for you to access on the VCAR website. It's free for you to access, um, it's readily there. You might not have to do that because I do a whole summary of the examination report since 2018 for you. Uh, but this is one of the comments that was made by the chief assessor, talking about the difference between analyze and evaluate. And here we can see that the, the assessor saying that they're different, that they are different key skills and students need to really realize that and know that. Chief Assessor then goes on to say that when you're asked to evaluate, you're generally providing different points of view or positives or ne negatives or something, and then you're providing an overall judgment call. However, when you're writing about or responding to an analysed question, you're writing in a, in a cause and effect manner, meaning you're looking at a situation or a feature, and then you're trying to identify the result of that situation. If I just move on to the next slide, let's look at analyse a little bit more. So here, analyze, it's become a lot more common. It wasn't that common on exams, but um, yeah, for a few, few years now, it's become a lot more common. So this is what I have written in your booklet. Give information around why something's changing, com compare it against a previous standard, or just think of it as cause and effect style writing. You're probably gonna get um, quite bored with me um, when we look at those model answers about really pointing out that cause and effect structure. Um, but that's okay. If you're bored, it means you know it. So um, I'm just warning you about what's to come within the videos. Let's look at a past exam question that's asked students to analyze. So here we look at that question that the chief assessor was referring to here. And this question asked students to analyze the debate about this issue and determine the impact of this issue on relationships. So here we're looking at the social and political debates within unit three in area study two. So you can see that this is really, tell me about the debate and its impact on the relationship. Tell me about the debate being the cause and then determine the impact of the issue on relationships being effect. The other thing to notice about this question is this is a two part question. So that one of the things is, uh, I think it's really good. Whenever you see the word and, try and identify, is there multiple parts to this question? So I used to encourage my students to, separate this question when they see the word and and break it down into two parts. So maybe for two marks, you could tell me about the debates around the issue. So each side of the debates and then go on to the effect around the effect on relationships of each of those sides. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of a, it might be a bit easier to answer a two mark question and then answer a three mark question rather than trying to write a, a, a five mark answer. I've got a couple more slides on analyze. So let's have a look at this next one. And this is a, a good way of um, thinking about analyze in a way. So you might be asked to analyze relationships during those historical periods. So you might talk about um, the period of increasing population and it might be relevant to your environment that the discovery of gold led to people perceiving the land as a resource. That's the cause. The effect might be a negative effect on relationships and the effect could be that therefore this meant that people saw regional areas as somewhere to strike it rich um, and they really had low respect for the environment. So there you can see that cause and effect happening there. Okay, um, another thing that's good is that when students write about the effect, they signpost. So there you can see the word therefore, just showing that it, um, you've like cracked the code in a way and I'm saying, okay, because of this, therefore this happened. And you might use other words like thus, um, this led to. If we go on to another example, so I'll unpack another one, and this might be around those uh, Unit 3 Area Study 2, Factors that Influence Relationships. So here it could be depictions and portrayals in the media, and you could talk about a Tourism Victoria internet advertisement. It might be something that people see 
you know, when they're scrolling through Instagram, for example. It might be about advertising how beautiful the beaches are of the surf coast. You could talk about how that's going to have a positive effect on relationships. And as a result, people might perceive a place like Anglesey in a positive light, see it as a place for recreation and engage in activities such as surfing. Again, using that little conjunction is what we would call them, uh, but it's just a signpost to the examiner to say, hey, I know that you're looking for cause and effect. One little thing to just keep in mind is when we're talking about cause and effect, sometimes you get questions that part A asks you to describe something and then part B gets you to analyze it. And sometimes when that happens, um, it's sort of, it might be beneficial for you to just think of analyze as part B where you just get straight to the effects. So I'll show you an example of this. So this is a question of 2016, a little bit dated, but it could still be um, used you know, on, on the exam that you're gonna sit this year. And basically what it says is part A says describe two management strategies that you've observed or would observe um, that would be appropriate for your specific environment. And then it says, and that would be the cause. So unpacking those management strategies. And then it says, analyze the effectiveness of those. So then you would just get straight to, okay, what are the effects of those management strategies? All right, so there's a bit of a starter around analyze. I sometimes think it's the hardest um, command term or questioning word or key skill of the lot. Um, so maybe that's clarified it for you a little bit. Like I said, we're gonna break down a lot of model answers. So you'll get a lot more practice if you haven't quite got it. And I guess the good thing about these videos is if you didn't quite get it that first time, you can go back and watch it again. Let's move on to compare. 